Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to, we're gonna look at how you can manage the engine of the Beechcraft uh, G36, uh, which is uh, standing on an airport uh, somewhere in the Caribbean. As you can see, it's uh, standing on the uh, one of the parking spots here. Engine has not been started yet. Um, and as you can see, the engine uh, or the propeller has also not rotating, of course, based on that. Uh, so let's go inside the aircraft and uh, let's uh, do some preparations. Uh, so you can either use the checklist, which you can find here, to make sure that everything is set right. So we're going to make sure that the parking brake is set if you don't do it. It can be dangerous because uh, there's one thing which you need to keep in mind with this aircraft is that you need to, I would say, increase the total a bit when you want to start the engines. Um, and that, in worst case, could result uh, that you're driving uh, against something. Uh, then we're going to the uh, fuel selector. And the fuel selector, it said, hey, you need to select the fullest tank. Well, how to figure that out? Well, you've got the uh, fuel button here or the weight, weight indicator here. And this indicates the fuel besides of that. It also contains the payload, right? The weight which you're taking with you. So in this case, both... Um, the left and the right uh, fuel tanks are containing the same uh, level of fuel, so that that's fine, right? So we will uh, just leave it at this uh, left engine as the fuel, and then we're going to the next step, which is uh, switching on all these nice buttons, and then we're coming to the uh, next phase, which means that we're gonna look at the engine, and that's also where we want to focus on. Uh, in this video right so you can see a lot of buttons here right so this is simply the, the throttle right so to increase throttle or to decrease throttle and uh, this is the one which you can use to manage the rpm and this is the one to uh, change the mixture right you can set the mixture to rich or uh and that's normally done when taking off and as you can see it's also being in the list and once you've done that you can reduce it and the same thing is for the rpm it has, I would say, two advantages to reduce the number of RPMs. Uh, one is uh, for your ears, so you don't hear the, uh, I'd say, ir sometimes irritating or very hot, a large uh, engine. But the other thing is that it's also better for the fuel consumption. So what we can do is we can uh, follow the instructions. So we're setting the uh, mixture to completely full, which means that we're pulling it completely forward. And also the RPM, uh, we're pulling it completely forward, as you can see. Uh, there are ways that you can manage it using the uh, keyboard. Uh, if you don't know how or which settings or which keys are being defined for that, you can go to the control options and in the control options, go to the keyboard and then you can find, uh, for example, uh, RPM. And then you will be able to figure out uh, what the rpm is set to uh, sometimes you need to search a bit uh, it's probably in my case better to search for throttle yeah here you can see the throttle uh, so let's see i think it was something with control pressed or something <laughs> rpm uh, reduce In some aircraft, you also can't set it. Uh, so let me double check. So we're gonna set it to only the assigned keys. Makes it easier. Uh, we're gonna go down. And then we're gonna go to the instrument view. No, slew mode, no. Radio, that's not what we need. Uh, toggle pushback, also not what we need, of course. Um, it's always a nightmare to find it, even if you search for it uh, and the search doesn't work. So you've got the auto rudder, airspeed, electrics, engine 
the rudders, the spoilers, the flaps, the brakes. I feel we're coming closer. The autopilot. And here we've got the mixture and the propeller thing, the propeller item. So the mixture itself, right, can be controlled using the control uh, shift and the F1, F2 and F3 uh, and F4. Uh, be careful because if you're reducing the lane too much, then it will shut down the engine completely. Uh, then we've got the uh, increase of propeller pitch uh, that's being managed by the control F1 to, to uh, control F4 and then of course we've got the normal throttling uh, if you've got a joystick or a throttle like I have then you can use uh, some of the things with the throttle and some of the things you need to manage it with the uh, keyboard like uh, the control F1 until the control F3 right we can manage the uh, max RPM settings uh, based on that uh, besides that we can manage the cowl flaps uh, I created a previous video about that but to explain you what it does is the cowl flaps will allow you to I would say cool the engine a little bit more which eventually is better uh, which will prevent that the engine is overheating so you can open them and if we go outside the aircraft um, we should be able to figure it out where it is and uh, so let's go so this is the cowl flap right so let's go inside the aircraft again and then close it and there you will see that uh, the uh, flap is closed again and we can open it again and then it will be opened uh, where can you use the cowl flap for well one of the things is that you can use it or that's the main function is to cool the engine uh, be aware that if you're opening it it will I would say change the airflow as you can see uh, because it hits the uh, the flap here so it could affect the uh, speed for example although that's I'd say kind of minimal uh, based on uh, experience with uh, flying with this aircraft in flight simulator 2020 once we've done that we're gonna increase the throttle a bit uh, keep in mind that the cowl flap is optional and then we can start the engines right so we can uh, go to both and then eventually we can go to start then look at the outside and there we see that the engine is uh, running nice so now we've done that we can reduce the uh, throttle to uh, zero uh, I need to ensure that this is still set to both which is the case and then we can continue with the after uh, start engine uh, checklist so we're gonna switch on the lights uh, so let me switch on the strobes a light beacon panel was not really needed taxi lights navigation right and you can always use this button right if you don't know which uh, ones you want to enable uh, then there's the uh, fuel boost pump which is this one which we didn't use but officially you should use it prior to starting the engine but in this case we didn't do it it's not, not critical in this case so we're ready to take off right so we're gonna uh, go to the atc and then we're gonna act now announce the taxi so once we've done that we can either start or run away or drive away yourself or taxi away or we can use the two warp pushback and then simply say hey start the pushback and then you need to release it um, and then simply use the uh, pushback talk which is available to us to push back the uh, the aircraft uh, because as you can see the runway is there and we need to be a little bit pushed back here because here uh, one of the drivers decided to uh, <laughs> to hit the oil tanker 
well, if it would happen really, then we would have an issue. Here's a helicopter uh, space. So we're in here. Uh, so let's uh, increase the speed a bit. But one key. And we're gonna be pushed back until we are on the runway itself. So we're gonna increase the speed a bit and then decrease it again a bit. And we're gonna, and sh well, we're gonna do it the easy way. So we're gonna just let the pushback talk uh, push us completely back uh, till we're at the end of the runway. Easy way. Increase the speed a bit. And then when we're there, we will. Reduce the speed. And then we're gonna end the pushback. So, and then the <clears throat> we need to wait, right? Till the uh, nice pushback driver is uh, gone. In the meantime, we're gonna uh, set the flaps a bit. While saying it, I'm really wondering if this one has flaps, but let's have a look. Yes, you can see these are the flaps. So we set them to uh, take off speed. Uh, in the meantime, what we can do is we can, uh, let's say, set an initial altitude uh, for the Uh, what is it? For the autopilot, of course. <laughs> I was saying something and then I thought, okay, hey, let me think about it. Uh, so we're activating the flight director. Uh, flight level change, we don't activate it yet. Uh, as well as the uh, autopilot. We're gonna uh, reset the heading a bit. Uh, you might ask, hey, why are we gonna reset the heading a bit? Um, because what I want to do is I want to follow the, uh, I would say, runway a bit. So we're going to change the bit because we're not, I would say, completely aligned yet to the runway, right? So I'm setting it like uh, like this. Because then we can fly straight out um, from, uh, from the runway. So we're going to uh, open the... Uh, and then we're going to say depart straight Echo, out. Foxtrot, Sierra traffic, Beechcraft, Alpha, Sierra, X-ray, Golf, taking off runway 27, departing straight out. So that's cool. I'm going to close this one. Going to increase the RPMs. Everything is still stable. So reduce the park and brake. gonna release it and then we need to be a bit careful because that's something I didn't look for was if there was a mountain so we need to make an a uh, pretty high climb initially but also of course try to avoid that we're gonna go install and as you can see uh, that's almost impossible so what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, go to the right side because we don't want to hit the mountain of course And then once we've done that, we can uh, enable the autopilot. 
Uh, there's one thing which we need to keep in mind that the uh, autopilot uh, is still set to the use the uh, heading which we uh, previously configured. So we're going to reset it by pressing it, the button here and then heading or hitting the heading button. Uh, in the meantime, we're climbing and uh, we're climbing as crazy, but that should. As you can see, we're also reducing uh, our speed massively. So we need to keep an eye on that. Uh, I think that the uh, flight level change uh, function is a little bit uh, too enthusiastic. And that's being caused by the fact that we activated it while flying 75 knots. In that case, it will try to maintain that speed, right? So it's, it's good. We're climbing. Let's wait till we're at 2500. So, what will the effect of the cow flap be? Well, if you look at the temperatures here, if we wouldn't uh, activate the or open the cow flap, then you would probably see that temperature would increase a bit, right? As long as it's in the green space, it should not be an issue. Uh, but if it's, of course, very close to the red piece, then you might want to use the cow flaps to reduce, uh, I would say, to reduce the uh, temperature. Uh, one other thing is that if we're now going to decrease the speed, right? You see, you'll still see that it still remains around the 2700 uh, RPM, right? You can still see, hey, I'm reducing it because this meter goes down, but we're still uh, increasing speed. Well, now we're a little bit stable, but the RPMs are still 2700 even higher so once we're airborne we can start playing around with these settings right so what we can do for example we can make the mixture less uh, rich so make it more lean and we can reduce the throttling what you will see is that now we did that and we need to or we might want to increase the speed a bit in the throttle in this case or you can play around with the rpms right you can also push the rpms a little bit further and as you hear already the rpms went down from almost 2700 to uh, 2140 currently cool because uh, i would say the fuel usage will reduce but the other thing is that also it's better for our ears, right? Because we don't have the, uh, say, uh, stumbling noise of the uh, the engine. And as you can see, the, the airspeed is still good, right? So, you know, we can still uh, try to reduce the throttle, but we can also reduce the RPMs. There's all, it's always important, right, to keep an eye on, these, uh, on the speedometer, right? Because if you're playing around with these settings, it will have an effect on your speed and eventually want to fly the same speed only with less RPM because eventually that would be better for the airflow or for the fuel flow uh, and also better for the fuel usage. And what you can see is also that some of the meters are now going down a bit. Uh, so what will be the effect of a cow, fl cow flap if we would close it? Well, probably pretty minimal, right? Because as soon as we're airborne, the engine does not need to work as hard compared to taking off and uh, if we now would go to the outside and uh, you will see that the cow flap is now uh, completely closed right cool so gonna check the gears we're gonna increase put the gears up and then everything is fine so in this how to we discussed multiple options the first thing we discussed is how to start the engines which precautions you can do which checks you can do uh, we looked at the uh, rpms we looked at the uh, lean and rich uh, throttle or leveler uh, we looked at the cowl flap right what what the effect is of the cowl flap uh, as we just saw it has it reduces or prevents you from overheating the engine so it's a positive way to keep the engine temperature pretty low um, keep in mind that that still ha could have an impact on the on the airspeed uh, right let's let's open it once and then let's see what happens but as you can see it's 
almost remains the same, right? So there's no huge decrease of the uh, speed. However, it could be in some cases. So be aware of that. Uh, here ends this video. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to post them below the video. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.